Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer. It's Sunday, May 30. Today we celebrate the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, we're in Volume 3. Our hymn will be in 585. Our first antiphon, 587. We will jump to the page 688 for the Psalms. Our reading goes back to 587 and the Gospel Canticle at 656. For the Christian Prayer Book, it's hymn number 132, first antiphon, 646, the Psalms, 707, reading 646, Gospel Canticle at 691. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Mm -hmm. To you, O blessed Trinity, be worship and honor, glory and power, praise and joyful adoration through eternal ages. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands, my soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To, to you, O blessed Trinity, Trinity be worship and honor, glory and power, praise and joyful adoration through eternal ages. May all your creatures give you fitting praise, adoration, and glory, O blessed Trinity. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. 
nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. May all, all the your creatures, creatures give, give you fitting praise, praise adoration, and, and glory, O blessed Trinity. All things are from Him, through Him, and in Him. To, to Him be glory forever. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's Son exalt in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. All, All things, things are, are from Him, him through him, him, and in Him, and to him, him be, be glory forever. forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. There are different gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different ministries, but the same Lord. There are different works, but the same God who accomplishes all of them in everyone. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Today is the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. The most mysterious dogma of our faith is the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity is the key to the riches and wisdom and the knowledge of God. Why try to understand the wisdom of God? We can't. Different religions have tried that. We try to use logic to explain our faith. We can't. The scientists, the forensics try to negate it, but they can't. We try to demand God to answer our prayers, but we can't. We can walk on our knees and pray very hard, but ultimately it is about God's plan. God the Father Though nobody saw his face, his name is so holy we can't even speak it in our language. Everyone knows a father, and he is the father of all. Now Jesus is easy. Him being a God was God's word made flesh, a humble human. Man saw Jesus, touched him, and heard him. Jesus is um, 
the where it all intersects access to understanding God's wisdom and to the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift defines how we can act as true Christians. Now, the Holy Spirit, a person, is also not visible to our eyes. He is the Lord, giver of life, not an it. He brings gifts. He is a counselor. He speaks for our behalf. All three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all three for the love of us, all three for our salvation. All praise, all glory to you, O Holy Trinity. All praise, all glory to you, O Holy Trinity. May we give thanks to you forever, O Holy, Holy Trinity. Trinity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. All praise, all glory to you, O Holy Trinity. O holy undivided Trinity, creator and ruler of all that exists, may all praise be yours now, forever, and for all ages unending. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. O, o holy, undivided, undivided Trinity, Trinity Creator and ruler of all that exists, may all praise you be yours now, forever, and for all ages unending. Let us give all honor and glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as we cry out with joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Holy Father, Send your Spirit to us who know not how to pray as we ought, that, that we may help us in our frailty and ask for us those gifts which will make us pleasing to you. Christ, Son of the living God, you ask the Father to send the Holy Spirit upon your church. Make us worthy to have the Spirit of truth with us always. Come, Holy Spirit that we may show your fruit in our lives, charity, joy, peace, equanimity, kindness, generosity. Long suffering, patience, faithfulness, modesty, self-control, chastity. Father, all-powerful, you have sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts so that we cry, Abba, Father, Make us submissive to your spirit that we may be your heirs and co-heirs with Christ. Christ Jesus, you sent the paraclete who proceeds from the Father to bear witness to you. Enable us also to be your witnesses before men. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions in this very special day, the Solemnity of the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity.
God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of everyone praying with us this morning. We ask, Lord God, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us now pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us himself. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God, we praise you. Father, all-powerful, Christ, Lord, and Savior, Spirit of love, you reveal yourself in the depths of our being, drawing us to share in your life and your love. One God, three persons, be near to the people formed in your image, close to the world your loving love brings to life. We ask this, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God, one God, true and living forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great day. day.